The thing with the CIP courses is they're designed to be challenging. After you enroll in a course, you need to set aside the time to familiarize yourself with the material and study for the exam. And I find the Insurance Institute really does provide you with the valuable resources that you'll need to succeed. And one of those is the Student Resource Guide. And this will be included with the majority of the courses that you'll be taking. And you'll find it at questions that directly mimic the style and format of the ones that you're going to find on the exam. Now, you'll also find in the Student Resource Guide study objectives at the beginning of each of the chapters. I like to go back to these after I've read the chapter, I've done the practice questions, and then review them just to make sure I really know the material. You can also look online for additional study aids. The Institute's website offers sample exams and for some of the courses, online tutorials. So now that I'm embarking on my last and final CIP exam, I have found that Using these resources have really helped me to succeed in the program.